think I got a tire with a hole in it. Hey everybody. So today I'm gonna work on this ATV a little bit. So this is an old Arctic Cat 500 and the model was called TBX because it has this dump bed on the back. It's pretty handy and it's got a Suzuki 500cc four stroke engine in it. But what I've got is it has a flat tire. I ordered a couple of new tires for it and I'll put those on the back. And I thought maybe some people might want to see that. So hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we do love your comments. Have a good one. Realistically, it's only flat on one side. So to change these tires, we're going to use the Pittsburgh Portable Tire Changer, which is ideal for shops, farms, and job sites, <laughs> according to the box. So we're gonna get this out and do a review of the Pittsburgh portable tire changer from Harbor Freight. Okay, one thing that everybody had on their videos on these were that that pipe hits the stanchion and apparently Harbor Freight has addressed that because this does not hit it. So it's kind of nice when a company listens to its customers. Okay, so we're gonna build a wood base so we don't have to drill holes in our concrete floor for this because I also don't want this always sitting in the, in the way. But a important part of this is the rim has to fit over this post. And I didn't realize it until I got ready to 
really look at this, but these rims don't have a hole in them. So I've marked out how big the hole needs to be. And this is a steel rim. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my plasma cutter and cut a hole in that to mount it over this. Because, right, that's not gonna work. So, here we go. Ought to work. Okay, now that we've plasma cut it, holes in the rims, not too bad. Clean them up with a Dremel tool. They fit, or that one does at least. Because one thing about this tire changer If the wheel doesn't go over the hole, if it doesn't have a hole in the center of the rim, it won't work. But now we have holes in the center of our rims. Another thing that I saw happen a lot uh, with people using this on YouTube was that they have problems breaking the knees. And it looked to me like a lot of their problem was they were putting this so that when they push down, instead of having to stay out, it was going back in. So it looked to me like the people that were having success had their tire out a little farther than the ones that were having problems. So we'll try it out. So the bead breaker part of this does look like it's probably the weakest link. See how it's beyond vertical? We need it to angle this way, not that way. We just slide this back out a little bit. I've got one bolt that's a little too tall. one video and a guy and his child were just struggling like mad with this speed breaker and they kept scooting the tire closer to it and it was like you need to go the other way <laughs> to the point where we're like screaming at the TV it's like no <laughs> but I'm sure I've done things on video that don't right anybody that knows how to plasma cut very well probably just doing the same thing on my There we go. 
said the uh, soap, I'm sure it would help a bunch. There we go. So that tire is now completely busted free off the rim. So on this soap and water to lube this up. Well, I gotta say that's pretty slick. Pretty slick. So it'll take a little bit of figuring out, <laughs> but that's pretty simple. Pretty simple. Okay, let's see if these have a direction of travel. This one rolled that way. Now I don't see anything that says direction of travel. So I'm gonna say we'll just put on this. And we'll do spray the bead on this one. Drive on. There we go. Now then, spray this one. Pop that up under the inside. I wouldn't do that with aluminum rim. It's still running it all right. Oops. You better put your crocs on that before you do this.
That didn't work. Okay, so let's try on the old style firearm. There we go. Boom, there she is. Okay, so, I'm not sure if that's exactly how you're supposed to do it. That's how I did it. Okay, it's filled up, I think. Oh yeah, here it goes. There we go. What I do on these ATV tires Getting this little thing right there lined up is almost the hardest part. Plenty of lube. Man, I wish I had this when I was changing the motorcycle tires. Used to race dirt bikes. And one of the things I found was you didn't need expensive tires, but you needed new tires. So I used a set of chin sing tires on that thing every race. 
And it was a heck of a thing. Okay. The vice grips on the rim just keeps the tire from losing what you've gained. Okay, let's try something different. Alrighty, so I'll put the tires back on this thing, the wheels back on it. And just so you know, yes, I'm using my one-ton Harbor Freight gantry crane to lift this up with that hook, but I've got jack stands under it also. So, you know, it kind of swings and stuff. If something happened to that, which I don't see that happening, and I'm never gonna get underneath it, but I still got jack stands there.
Okay, so that job's done. In addition to the Harbor Freight uh, tire, portable tire changer, we use the little air blaster to seat that bead. Some jack stands, use some of the Harbor Freight large tire tools, use the vice grip to hold the bead, and we use our gantry crane. But this job is done. I'll check these tires tomorrow, just to make sure they're not leaking. I've got 20 PSI in them right now, which is more than I normally run. I run 15 in them. But back to the manual tire changer. That is on sale right now from the Inside Track Club. And it was $34, I think it was $34.99. Normally it's like $45, $49, something like that. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you that I think that's extremely worth it. We did put it on a piece of plywood. Uh, just bolted it down and we'll shove that over in a corner. Oops, maybe unbolt it. Uh, but I didn't want it bolted down to my garage floor because I use this space in the garage for a lot of other things, not just changing tires. Okay, so being a member of the Inside Track Club, we saved about $10 on that. And that tool is very worth having if you've got ATVs or boat trailers, which I've got right there. Uh, any number of other little tires and wheels. Like I said, I wouldn't probably tackle my RV tires with that, but somebody probably could. And for anything smaller than that, it worked really well. So I'm sure there's probably more technique to it that I don't uh, really have figured out just yet, but I've changed hundreds of motorcycle dirt bike tires. And pretty much the way I used to do those was the same thing I did here, but this held it and gave me something to pry against. Pretty snifty. So your miles may vary, Appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we definitely love your comments. Have a good one, y'all.